Danny Hasak here with Colony Couple of People do their business better. So I've been fascinated by the noise suppression through Zoom and Microsoft Teams and other meeting applications and platforms. And so I wanted to take that test from headset to speaker phones. And so today I'm using the Logidoc and I wanted to see if the noise suppression would help block out background noise uh, from a speaker phone. And so that's what we're gonna do today. And so I'm just gonna play some background noise. All right, so this is what it would sound like without any noise suppression uh, from any uh, meeting application while using the Logic Dock. All right, so now we are in a Zoom meeting and I have the noise uh, suppression uh, or background noise suppression setting to auto and I'm going to go ahead and play background noise. All right, so this is what it would sound like if you're using, or this is the sound of background noise. I usually have the camera so you can hear the background noise going on in here. All right, so this is what it would sound like if you were using the Logidoc with noise, background noise suppression set to auto on Zoom. So now this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logidoc in a Zoom meeting with background noise suppression set to low. Okay, now I've set it to medium. And so this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logidoc in a Zoom meeting with this background noise uh, going on around you. There's a phone ringing. All right, so this is what it would sound like if you were using the Logidoc in a Zoom meeting with the background noise suppression set to high. All right, so this is what it would sound like without any noise suppression uh, from any uh, meeting application while using the Logic Doc. All right, so now we are in a Microsoft Teams meeting, and so now let's introduce some noise, and we have the noise suppression uh, level set to auto. All right, so this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logic Doc in a Microsoft Teams meeting with the noise suppression that will set the auto or default. That's a phone ring. All right, so now I've set the Microsoft Teams uh, noise suppression to low. And so this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logic Doc with this open office background noise uh, going on. So this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logic Doc in a Microsoft Teams meeting with the noise suppression level set to high. There's a phone ringing. All right, so this is what it would sound like if you were using the Logi Doc in a Zoom meeting with the background noise suppression set to high. All right, so this is what it would sound like without any noise suppression uh, from any uh, meeting application while using the Logi Doc. And we are back. So first off, I want to say that I absolutely love my Logi Doc. It's completely changed my uh, work life or my work productivity uh, because I'm able to integrate it with my Outlook calendar. And so I know exactly when meetings are coming up and I don't have to look around for a meeting link or meeting ID. I just press a little button. So first I was impressed by the Logidoc all on its own without any additional support from Teams or Zoom with the noise suppression. It performed really well, uh, much better than I anticipated. I always thought that speaker phones just picked up everything uh, and I was proven wrong. Uh, and then I have added confidence now when I'm in Zoom meetings and Teams meetings that I, if I have noise suppression to the default, it is going to block out that background noise. And if I'm in an even noisier environment, I'm able to set it to high. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Uh, let me know uh, in the comments uh, or send me a message uh, or however you want to contact me. I'll include all my contact information. Uh, but this was really fun. And I want to keep doing this because I, I'm just so fascinated uh, by this. Uh, so, uh, but again, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Uh, if you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and follow me on LinkedIn. Thanks.